I want to share with our Berean Baptist family a verse out of the Bible in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Uh, the verse deals with money, uh, a subject that I think in this difficult economy in which we live that all of us are concerned about. But Paul writes to Timothy in this first epistle of his, and in chapter 6, verse 10, he says this, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, from, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness, and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. And then he says, But you, O man of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, pursue godliness, pursue faith, love, patience, and gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. I'm excited that in a couple of weeks we're going to have with us Chuck Bentley from Crown Financial Ministries. Chuck is the CEO of Crown. I've gotten to know him through my uh, relationship that he has with Bob. Bob is working with Crown and with Chuck Bentley. And the times I've had a, the opportunity to meet Chuck, uh, I've been so impressed with this man. He is a gentle, godly, Christ-like servant of the Lord. He truly is a picture of the Lord Jesus. He has a hunger for God and a gentle, gentleness about him that is very, very special. Uh, his testimony, as he shares it in his book, he's written a book called The Root of Riches. It's, it's a phenomenal book. Many of our people at Berean have read this. And Chuck tells his testimony, and perhaps he'll share that testimony with us uh, on Sunday uh, in the next couple of weeks when he's with us. But he, he shares his own testimony and how the Lord worked in his life. And uh, as a younger man, Chuck had this desire, like many people in our country, to be successful, uh, to be rich, to be wealthy, to have a lot, of, a lot of things. And he began to realize that success and true wealth is not found in material possessions, but success and true wealth is found in a relationship with Jesus Christ. But let me just read something he says in his book as he uh, writes a little forward to it. Uh, he tells his testimony. He says this about himself. He says, Like millions of others, uh, I sought to blaze my own trail to riches. All the while, I fed on a steady stream of books, tapes, seminars that produced or promised to make arrival at my desired destination a sure thing through self-help, increased motivation, timeless success principles, and hot business opportunities. But today, he says, those opportunities that once seemed so valid to me, I now see as only multi-billion dollar games, games of chance designed to separate people from their money. The prize is always the holy grail for the greedy. It's always this, they want to get rich. They're games for suckers, and in those days, I was eager to play. Look around. The world is still full of carnival barkers trying to lure in the get-rich-quick crowd on the midway of life. They're just a little harder to spot. Instead of gaudy striped jackets and straw hats, they wear power suits and carry designer briefcases. Chuck understood, as he wrote this book, The Root of Riches, that true riches are found in Christ. And many people just don't seem to understand today that, that success in life and happiness in life is not found in the abundance of things that we have, or how big or beautiful our homes, or the, the exotic vacations that we're, we're able to go on. But true happiness and true success in life is found in walking with God. In Micah 6, 8, he says, the Lord speaking through his prophet, He has shown you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Uh, Chuck Bentley will be with us in two weeks, uh, in two Sundays in November, and I'm excited to have him come. He's a man of God, and I think our church is going to be greatly blessed by his presence. I'd urge all of our brain family to, to do your best, invite people, uh, bring some others, bring some guests, bring some uh, relatives or friends, because I think they'll be really, really encouraged by his testimony. But again, I want to read that verse that Paul shares with us in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Paul's not saying money is evil, but the love of money. And when people love money, when they love success and money more than they love God, when the entire focus of their life is to get rich and to be successful, uh, even if they use Christian terms and cr Christian slogans to justify what they're doing, uh, it will bring all kinds of evil. One of the things I have seen in, in the lives of people when God is not their focus, when the Word of God is not the Lord of their life, when their, their, their life is not 
guided by the principles of holiness and the Word of God, when they're not progressing in their sanctification, when Christ is not Lord and, and front and center of their heart, when love of money and love of success is all-consuming, you'll see people making decisions not based on principle, not based on the Word of God, but they'll make decisions based on the money trail. They'll make decisions based on expedience. And loyalties will always be designed around where the money flows. And so I just encourage our church family to realize that, that money's not, not evil, but the love of money is. And my prayers, we have Chuck Bentley with us during these days, is that we'll realize that true success is found in a deep and rich relationship and personal walk with God through Jesus Christ. And then I remind you what he says here. Uh, when we fall into the trap of greediness, it pierces the soul through with many sorrows. People will never find happiness. They'll never find peace until they find that relationship with Jesus Christ. When He is Lord, when He's first in their life, when people have surrendered to Him and they're making decisions and determining their future based on principle, on Scripture, they're going to have great joy in their heart. And then He says, But you, O man of God, flee these things. Flee the love of money. Flee the love of, of success. Flee the love of pursuing material things apart from God. If God is pleased to bless people, or you, or me, with, with various gifts, may we understand that all money, all wealth, everything we own, belongs to the Lord. And we need to make sure that we remember those principles. Well, Chuck Bentley will be with us from Crown Financial Ministries. I'm looking forward to his presence. I know he'll be a great blessing. I pray you'll come with a tender heart, uh, ready to learn and hear from this, this wonderful man of God, this, this choice servant of the Lord. God bless you, and I'll see you on Sunday.